So thank you, Gregory. It is Tuesday night on BBC Radio 1. It's Grimmy here with you and Dan from Bastille as well. Good evening, Dan. Good evening, mate. How I you just doing? have to check what day it was then. The bank holidays <laughs> got me all fun. Santa Cardi B, Tuesday night on BBC Radio 1. It's Grimmy and Dan from Bastille. Hello. We are looking after Annie Max show this evening right through to nine o'clock. And tonight, we're coming to you live from Maida Vale in West London and we are bringing you a session from Mo. She is going to be with us at Biggest Weekend in Swansea. And this is a warm up gig from one of our favourite pop stars on the way from 8 pm. In as Grimmy and Dan in for Annie Mac this evening. We are live from Maida Vale. It is night two of us doing this. And last night was super fun. Did you enjoy the show last night? I had such a good time. Me too. Yeah, thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Anytime. Well, right now, we, we have another guest that is joining us on the show who's going to be performing live for us at eight o'clock tonight. Mo is with us at Maida Vale. Good evening. How are you? I can't hear Mo. Me neither. <laughs> We're in a glass either. cage and Mo's <laughs> out there. Can we hear you, Mo? Oh no, Mo's in a glass cage. Can she come in here? And Can see you us? hear me? Oh, oh yeah! Yay! Okay, yes, great, Mo. great, awesome. Oh, it was really sad that we couldn't <laughs> hear you because right now, Made of Oak, it's not like a normal radio studio here. We're in just like a, essentially, looks a bit like your mum and dad's conservatory. Yes. And we're in there, and Mo and her band are in our back garden, basically. And yeah. you're just like a little fox that's crept up to the window. <laughs> yeah, nonetheless, I'm very excited to be here, though. <laughs> yeah, no. oh, we're really excited that you're here. So and excited for this session. Yes. Are you looking forward to it tonight? You were saying you're a little bit nervous. I, I must admit, I'm a little bit nervous, but that's, I mean, let's just say it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get nervous at the before everything that you do? Because I've seen you perform before, but you never ever look the nervous type. And it's so funny because I am actually always super duper nervous, especially at like bigger gigs or at live gigs like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, but but I mean, I guess I I try to really hide it. But uh, yeah, well, I'm it, super duper nervous. You hide it. You hide it incredibly well. I've seen you play a bunch of times at festivals, and you look like you're totally poker face. owning it. It's a poker face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone not nervous though on a stage? Like if I were ever to do like public speaking at a wedding, I like freak out. I hate it. I couldn't do that. I'm like, uh, can't yeah. do it. I don't think anyone's like, I would love to stand in front of loads of people and talk or sing. No. no. I don't think anyone's like really up for it, really. No, I, I don't know. Yeah. For me, that's the bit where you can sing the songs, you know them really well, you love performing them, yeah. and then suddenly they stop and you're like, whoa, I'm doing a speech at a wedding in front of <laughs> yeah. thousands of people. Oh, I didn't yeah. sign up for this. Yeah, and that's, that's the bit that's, for me, tricky. I don't know about you. Yeah, no, but. on stage, like when you have to talk and you have yeah. to come with a long monologue, like I freak out. Me too. Me too. <laughs> well, can we hear the band? Can we do that? Because yes. I, I, I heard Annie doing this and I always love when Annie does yes. this. So I'm going to get rid of this little bit of Catronada and you can, Mo, can introduce us to your band who are with you this evening at Made of Ale. Yes, I have my lovely, beloved band with me and on keys it is Sylvester. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse <then> you. <laughs> and then we have Mikkel on guitar and bass. Hi, Mikkel. Oh, ooh, I like that noise. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice decay. And then we have Rasmus on drums. <laughs> yes. Yes, Rasmus. Yes. Sounding wonderful. <laughs> well, we're you ready for this. Sounded amazing in sound check, so really oh, excited great. for this. So this Thank is going to be warm up for Biggest Weekend because you're going to yes. be at Swansea uh, oh in God. a couple of weeks now. It's, su it's super, super close. Is it's this kicking so off soon. like a, a whole summer of, of live events for you guys? We actually don't have like a tons of show because like I'm preparing for some things. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, I have that? a couple. What are you preparing do you, do you want for? Do you want to tell us? I I wish I could, but <laughs> I can't say too much. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, preparing some things. But we're doing a couple of, of of festivals over the summer. But I'm super stoked for the big week, and I'm so honored to be doing that. So I'm excited. Well, this is going to be the perfect warm up on the way tonight. Yes. Eight o'clock. We're going to have live music. Mo in session from Maid of Ale and on the way at 7.30, our hottest record in the world tonight, the return of Jungle on yes. the way. So Blossoms are going to be doing this show next week. And what's up next, Nick? We're going to have a little bit of the Hunter right now. Oh, nice. We caught up with them last night. They were our hottest record in the world. And tonight we have the return of Jungle on the way, 7.30 this evening. We do. The Hunter on BBC Radio 1 is Grimmy and Dan from Bastille. Uh, in for Annie Mac. We are. How do you think it's going? I love this song. I was with this guy at about 4am on Sunday morning in Malta. Oh wow, what happened? 
He was dancing with a kettle to Annie Mac's set. I, this I, is Dennis Salter and DKY on Radio 1. Kettle's in the air. <laughs> sounded so good, this. Sounded Dennis Salter. Tuesday night on BBC Radio 1. Great tune. Isn't it yeah, great, this? I love this. I just, and now I can't not think about kettles. Yeah. A great video. I'll put it up on Instagram now. I found out my phone the next day of him dancing around with a fag in his mouth and a kettle in his hand. Like, <laughs> a good night was had by all. Uh, it's Grimmy and Dan from Bastille. We're just going to play loads of songs tonight. This next one is your choice. Yeah, this is by Super Organism, who are such a great band. I hope you like it. Famous Super Organism on BBC Radio 1 this evening. That's my family tree. Okay, That's hottest record tree. No from Jungle after Rams. If you know about them, then you know okay, it's Tuesday night on BBC Radio 1. It is 7.30 and right now it's time for our hottest record in the world and today it comes courtesy of jungle and they are here with us in the studio good evening good evening how are you how are you guys good good very good thanks for coming in to see me and dan tonight it's a pleasure thanks for having us we're very excited about this very excited about this song yeah and i feel like this song is sort of the perfect soundtrack to what is going on in the country this week like the sun is out and it's like oh jungle just like they felt the sun and they made this. <laughs> That's it. I mean, we recorded it a couple of days ago. I just thought we'd just whip it out while it's... Uh, <laughs> just while get it out this week. You know I mean? Brin, Brin. Brin. the sun's out. <laughs> well, it's sounding so, so good, this. So we're, we're, we're really excited about hearing and it. We so have Jungle we... here with us. That sounds great, that song. Thank you. It really, really does. That sounds really nice. When did you guys make that and how long have you been sitting on that? It's hard to tell, really. It's sort of a never-ending process. But um, I guess we've had the record put to bed for a couple of months now. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you've been touring it a bunch as well. Yeah, so actually we did something quite different. We thought we wanted to go out and, and test the new material live before we released anything. So we've been out on the road since October while finishing the record. Um, has and it, the new tracks live, seeing how it's been going down. Did it really, does it inform to like oh, the finishing yeah. of the record? Massively, does it, You play in a song and, and, and people are listening and if you, if you go to you know, a middle eight and it's wrong, everyone in the audience is just like, <laughs> change it, change, it. change yeah, the middle eight, guys. Machine, it's not working. Cut that, cut that bit. It's uh, a great way to work, though, isn't it? Because you're getting it straight out there to people straight away. I think it's quite democratic as well. You yeah. Know? Do you like that one? No. Okay. That's no, going that one's gone. Then. Well, that I imagine that's what the people want to hear because this is the, the the song that we've gone for. How does it feel like putting that out after you know it's what four years since the last record? It's really exciting. Just it's just nice to get some new music back out there, really. Yeah, I bet. I bet it is. And then what's the plan for the rest of the year? Because you've already been touring. Usually, would like hear a little bit and then we'd announce toys they're gonna to be more touring of you like we've had enough of that now for a bit yeah go back, back <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have a rest again see you in four years <laughs> tour, tour the second record before it's even out uh, uh yeah i mean we're gonna have a pretty busy summer with festivals in europe um and then i imagine yeah some big headline tours in in october november fun my kids it sounds Great. awesome do you want to talk a bit about um making the track and making the record sure i mean it's uh we took a bit of time out we've been touring that first album mercilessly till uh-huh. the end of like 2016 and then took a bit of time out came back together and, and started making the record again and I guess the, the the main bulk of the work was done last summer um, kind of in between Shepherd's Bush uh, Soho a bit of, bit of work in Los Angeles as well nice. and and yeah, just kind of wrapped it up after Christmas. To add the sunshine, basically. Yeah, and you need that jungle sort of sunshine. <laughs> well, we've had so it good so over the weekend here, week. so. Yeah, it's worked <laughs> perfectly. But you guys, you guys have been friends since you were little, weren't you? In next door neighbours. Yeah, uh, since we were ten years old. Wow. Yeah. So when you're like, when you're, when you're, usually bands would get sort of maybe. I mean, I don't know, Dan. I'm not speaking from experience, but maybe bands <laughs> when they're touring and together all the time, they can be like, oh, can we just have a little break from each other? Do you guys need that, or because you've known each other since you were, you were ten, are you like? Oh, we, it's we, a day to day thing, isn't it? Right. <laughs> We love each other and hate each other within two hours. Normally, we need like normally, normally you need like half an hour. You need half an hour in the morning to like stay out of each other's way, uh-huh. and then like say hi to each other when it's all good. Uh-huh. It's probably quite good because great music, I think, is when it's really honest. So you can be very honest to each other, yeah, being like, "Oh, that bit you've done rubbish, and that bit I don't like." We had a um, we had a good day in Newcastle the other day. We started the day with a hug, and that yeah. really set the tone. Set the tone. Oh wow. Any hugs today? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's a non-hug day. No. Um, well, we're really excited you're back. We love that. And um, that is our hottest record in the world uh, from Jungle. It's called Happy Man. Brand new stuff from them. Uh, Jungle, and thanks for coming to see us. Thanks, thanks Nick. Thanks, guys. Post Malone and Nicki Minaj on Tuesday night on BBC Radio 1. Uh, it is coming up to quarter to eight, and it is Grimmy and Dan from Bastille together again. Together again. One more night. How good was that Jungle tune? By I the thought way? you were to say how good are we at this <laughs> how good are we at hosting and uh, no that jungle tune is great really really it's great so nice to have them back 
And it just sounds like barbecues in the city, that song, doesn't it? They've really captured that sound. It's really great to have them. And so on the way tonight, eight o'clock, we're going to have a live session. We're coming to you this evening from Maida Vale. And tonight, Mo is going to be warming up for her performance at Biggest Weekend. And we're going to get to play for like half an hour or so. And so we're excited. dead excited. <laughs> and before that, though, we're going to play some Florence. We are. And, and, and I was just thinking, we're going to see Mo play in a minute. Yeah. And then later tonight, Florence is playing in London, and we're going to do our very best to run from here. Not run. We'll probably get some transport help. Yeah. But as, get from, as quickly as we can from here to the South Bank to see Florence play. So we get to see two amazing artists play gigs in a night. I'm concerned that we're not going to make this happen. Uh, we are. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's going to happen. Florence is on tonight, 8.30. I was like, oh. We're on air till nine. I was like, what are we going to do here? I was like, can't you just go on late? And she's like, it's the Royal Festival's Hall's rules, not mine. <laughs> I was like, can you call them and tell them that Dan and I were on till nine? Maybe she can, uh, you know, she's a fourth fourth album you know, established actor. Exactly. She'll be playing... Uh, Whack a- someone a- with a harp on for <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> Come on. Do a really extended intro. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, or we can just hope for the fact that she'll probably play for three hours and then... Well, fingers crossed. We'll make it, we'll make it. We'll so make two it. great women tonight. Mo on the way from 8 o'clock live in session. But right now, um, my record of the week on the evening show that we're doing, Dan and I all this week, and also on the Radio 1 Breakfast show, because I love it that much. Doubling up. I, I'm doubling up. I'm bookending the day with Florence. <laughs> this is Hunger on Radio 1. Florence and the Machine. That is Hunger. Brand new music from Florence there on BBC Radio 1. Such and my tune. tune of the week. I hate talking after songs like that, because it's so beautiful <laughs> and ethereal. And then I'm like, Florence! It's my voice. It really ruins it. Uh, so it's Grimmy in for Annie this week. Dan from Bastille and I are going to be co-hosting all this week. And right now we're joined by Mo, who's going to be in session with us at 8 o'clock tonight. Oh my God, so soon. So soon, Mo! Don't mm-hmm. worry, it's going to be so great. You got, yeah, like, yeah. like I said, you sounded so amazing. <laughs> oh, you. Obviously, you can't see Mo right now, but your body language is like, I'm tense. You're yeah. like, <laughs> it's true. I'm really trying to be like, stop it, stop it, like, relax, relax. <laughs> is there anything you have to do before you go on stage and perform? Because I think it's like the greatest job in the world performing, but also like, it's scary. It's really scary. It's nerve wracking. Yeah. I think one of the things I try to do is always like to do some stretch and some yoga. Uh-huh. I guess, like, like just a little bit and then just warming up because that makes me feel like I got this under control. I got it under control. It's going to be fine, you know. So, yeah, things like that. Has anything ever happened, actually, to, to you as well, Dan, on stage that gives you this sort of feel like, oh, there was the time I fell down the hole or the time I like the, I got in the way of the pyrotechnics and it caught fire to Diplo's <laughs> hair? Or has anything happened where you're like, oh, my God, that was awful? Um, I mean, I've definitely tried that feeling like, oh, I lost it, you know, or something. Weird. But I, I, I haven't tried been like set on fire, okay. which I'm very happy about. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but I, 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 but, but I definitely to try that thing where it's like oh but I mean then I mean that's normally if like something happens like that where it just kind of like you know kind of like shocks me then uh-huh. then I'll just go into the crowd because that's a way for me to be like I'm the same yeah, yeah, yeah. right like because then it's like no we're here we're all here like it's fine like, just, yeah uh, we're fine we uh, and that completely it normalizes it and grounds it I feel it's, like exactly. for me being on stage it feels like you're constantly teetering on the edge of something awful happening oh my god yeah but that's just true. probably says more about me I've had no, some pretty I think terrible that makes sense. I've had some terrible I've, I've been electrocuted on stage <gasps> luckily I was alright Right, but my fa- I think the front row were kind of laughing at what was happening to my face. Oh my god! That was pretty bad. I used to because oh I used to get god, really nervous. I used to I used to sort of climb on stuff and jump into the crowd uh-huh. quite a lot. So I had quite Fabulous. I've had quite a lot of clumsy accidents. I once got stuck halfway up a really high PA oh. mid song. <laughs> Couldn't get wow. down. My tour manager had to come on and give me a little give my legs a little push to get me on stage. Anyway, it sounds awesome though. It sounds like a really nice uh, thing to do. I know. I've seen but I've seen <laughs> your shows and and I love how much you get into it and and. Uh, and, and you know, the dancing and the jumping about and the getting in the crowd, I think that's so important to break down that yeah. that ridiculous barrier that exists. Exactly. Um, yeah. Anyway. I would like to try and crawl up into something. Just, start, I mean, just if you do it, do it better than me. <laughs> it's, have you ever had that thing? I can't remember who I was that I saw. I think it might have been Florence actually, where they've got off the stage at like a festival, and then the festival stage is a lot higher when you're looking up at oh, it right. than when you were looking down. So then you've got off oh and God. you're just like, oh, I can't get, I literally oh, can't get back on, and then a man yeah. has to help you. So many times. Have you had the man yeah. help? Got you? in the crowd, had to try and get out, and, like, and you can't. Yeah, security yeah. guards, <laughs> three like, security oh, guys guy, drag really you over the fence. It's like just the least. Any any chance I had of pretending to be vaguely cool or pretend like I'm acting to be in a band they just go out the window straight away anyway. yeah actually I used to think that it was really embarrassing when one had to do that thing it was like Ugh! but now I just think it's kind of fun because it's yeah. like oh yeah I'm t- totally awkward right now but like <laughs> I'm a bag you know like it's nice 
<laughs> and we're going to see you at um, Biggest Weekend, which we're super excited about. Oh God, Do you get to, when you go to a festival now, because, you know, you've got to look after your voice, you've got to be in yeah. tip-top condition. Can you, like, go to a festival and have fun and stick around and see bands and put that demand in? Or do you have to be like, I need my hot water and lemon and things? I mean, I can do it after the show. Right. That's something I really enjoy, actually. That whole thing of, like, being good before the show and being all, like, doing all the nice things, yeah. you know, to prepare yourself. But then afterwards, I love, especially if it goes well, then I love to party. Okay. Party. There's, there's nowhere better to be, is there, than... Like, like if you've had a gig and it's it's a massive high, yeah. And you're oh a festival, God. and then you get to go and see. I, I, last time, one of the last times I saw you was we were playing the same festival, and it was us playing then you then Frank Ocean. Oh Do you my remember God. that? Night? That's nice. Wait, what what festival was it in the UK? Nah, -uh. it was it was it was somewhere Denmark. Denmark? No. It was in a Scandinavian country, oh, okay, not okay. to generalise, but it was the first, so many show that Frank Ocean, yeah, yeah, yeah. the first show that, that, uh, that Frank Ocean did. Oh my God. On the whole Blonde Festival summer thing. Oh my God, and it was it was in America, wasn't it? Is the Panorama Festival maybe? I mean, it, no, but... Okay, but, <laughs> yeah, okay. But, anyway, amazing. But, yeah. but sorry sorry to be so so blunt. <laughs> no, no, I love but, it. Just cause I, I, it. It's cemented in my mind because we played a gig and I was sort of really excited. Not that cemented. <laughs> You're like, it was somewhere, <laughs> it was in, somewhere the in the world. world. But I remember getting to see you and then getting oh to see Fra Thanks Frank Ocean and, see and awesome. it was just like it, it totally embodied that thing of getting to finish a show and then see people that you massively admire and love and it's there's nothing better there's no better distraction there's no better kind of yeah. way, to, no, it's way, true. It's way to sort of come down after to, a gig yeah because it must be the weirdest high. thing when you get off of the stage you can't just like go home and watch the telly oh, no. you've got to sort of get that sort of energy out of you exactly that's why sometimes it's like when you tour like after a show each night like I can't calm down until like mm. three hours after yeah, yeah. minimum because right. like you just you're so pumped you know like and then you get into a tiny tin can <laughs> exactly <bus. laughs> just like well, can you line this energy? coffin whilst we drive you to Berlin <laughs> yeah. please I, wanna, um, I really want to talk about nostalgia it's such a tune oh thank you do you want to so talk much. about about making making the song yeah how it came about well it, it kind of like actually I, I got this old beat and I started writing some of the melodies but I remember just I once I heard it I was just, oh, I want to talk on this one. Yes. And I don't know why, but, and, and I was just like, oh, that's that's kind of fresh and fun. So it was kind of like just fun. I just went with uh -huh. it. And then I could just feel it, the whole thing shaping into this kind of reminiscent thing. I feel like every pop star needs that talk moment. Yeah. And, it, and that felt like the right one for you. I okay, Thank you. I'm happy that you. I love like that it. record. It was my tune of the week on Breakfast. I know, yeah. And it was one of those songs that, I mean, you guys probably don't do it because you are artists. <laughs> but I think everybody listening and definitely every Radio 1 DJ pretends they're a pop star sometimes. Sometimes. And <laughs> nostalgia was one of my make believe pretend hits. Oh my God, that's awesome. I put awesome. it on, look out of a window, pretend I was doing that. Does everyone else do that? <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay, good. Uh, well, make sure oh you're God. listening tonight, 8 p.m. on BBC Radio 1. <laughs> <laughs> that's my day job. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're going to have uh, Mo in session tonight from Maida Vale, uh, and we're super excited about it. We can't wait to see you and hear you, Mo. <sighs> we'll Thanks. see you at 8. Yes. See you in a bit. I love that song. Me too. It's sounding good, this. I like how live it sounds. No, it's great. My voice sounds so brilliant. Sounds well. great on this. Um, okay, it is 8 p.m. on BBC Radio 1. It is Grimmy and Dan in for Annie. And for the past couple of weeks, you will have heard Annie Mac doing this very special warm up gigs ahead of Biggest Weekend in Swansea. Uh, Georgia Smith did it the other week. Uh, last week, it was the turn of notes. And this evening, we have Mo with us over at Made of Vale. We also have an audience. Can the audience make some noise for everybody listening to Radio 1? Yeah! Wow. That's fun. They're definitely there. <gasps> so fun. Um, okay, well, what you're going to hear right now is like half an hour, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, as long as Mo wants, really. She's in charge here. So, should we do this? Yay! Okay, let's do this. So this exciting. is Mo, live in session from Made of Ale. Yeah! Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that was incredible. That was yeah. so great. Thank you, Mo. Thank you so much. It was so exciting. Thank oh, you. I you love sounded, that. That you sounded, sounded incredible, so Mo. Thank you so that much. That got me so, so excited now for Biggest Weekend. Yay! I wish it was me now. Too. Uh, Made Avail, make some noise for Mo in session tonight live. Thank you so much. On BBC Radio 1. And make some noise for her band, Made Avail. Yeah. You guys were amazing. That sounded amazing. That was, incredible. that was so good. I don't want her to go. Oh, <laughs> Come back. Don't go, Mo. Back. No. <laughs> She's Thank like, you bye. So much. Bye, Mo. See you in bye. Swansea. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Well, that was incredible. Wasn't that insane? That was really, really exciting. Exciting. Oh. That got me so excited for Biggest Weekend. She now. has such an armory of hits. Yeah. It's incredible. So many hits. And her voice was brilliant. The band. Can we talk about the drummer? Ugh, oh, so tight. 
So tight. And and uh, and the guitarist, obviously, and the guy who uh, did all the vocal chops with with the sample pad. When he did like get right with uh, what is that a sample yeah, pad? Yeah. I don't know what that is. It was a massive it, it looks like, like, bank it, of sample It pads. looks like something you'd get in like nineteen eighty nine for Christmas. Um but it's there were so many great sounds coming from that this evening. That was amazing. Proper, proper exciting and like you said, so many hits there. And so many people loving this tonight. Uh hello to India. Keep up the amazing music tonight. Mo sounding incredible. Uh hello to Keisha who's uh falling in love with Mo tonight. I think a lot of people will be finding themselves even more in love with her this evening. Uh Aisha Lean on sounding so so good, my favourite. And we both had such great festival memories of that, didn't we, Dan, of, of Lean On? Oh, yeah. That's uh, really great. I know. Uh, yeah, such a, such an amazing festival tune anyway. But yeah, I've had, I've had many a time watching that in a field somewhere and having just just the best time. Just the best time, yeah. Uh, Maddie as well saying, Mo getting me through my evening workout this evening. She gives it her all. Like, yeah. she had her own evening workout I wish tonight. you guys could all have, have seen this. She was properly, properly going for it. Dance routines, jumping about. I mean, so are we in this little booth. We're doing the same. It's yeah. got sweaty in here. I've got a sweaty foot on. <laughs> sweaty yeah, foot. I can feel That's it. That's really specific. Yeah, I've got sweaty feet. I can feel <laughs> it just from dancing in here in this sort of weird conservatory that we're in at Maida Vale right now. <laughs> but I feel like we need to see her when we're in Swansea. Yes. We 100%. need to go and watch her. We 100%. need to go and check that out. Uh, one, it is Tuesday evening on BBC Radio 1. It is Grimmy and Dan from Bastille with you uh, in Maida Vale this evening. And um, what a show it's been. What a treat was that? So uh, Annie Mack is lit. Vin. Oh. So she comes over to Maida Vale, she has a little bit of a snack, and then someone performs for 40 minutes. Oh, it was amazing. What a dream night this is. That was so, so was great, though. Brilliant. And such a, like, I guess for us, we're so lucky. It was such a kind of unique view through a window, listening through headphones, but she was like literally two feet away from us. Yeah. Like, absolutely killing it. It was I, amazing. She definitely couldn't hear me singing along, could she? I hope she couldn't hear us. I was, yeah. You fine, because <laughs> you sound great when you sing. Me, not so much. Apologies if that fed through and ruined <laughs> anyone's experiences this evening. And I want to play you something now. I don't know if you've heard this. Um, this was a song that I heard a, a couple of weeks ago. It was like Saturday afternoon. Maybe it was about a month ago. And it was one of those days when the sun came out. It wasn't that hot, but I think because we'd had such a cold, horrible winter time, the fact that it wasn't snowing. Anything felt great. We we were like, okay, yeah. it's 15 degrees. I'm going to take my top off. <laughs> like, we were like, let's yeah, the do this. Was on. Let's do this. So my friend was doing a barbecue and we were driving over. We were very excited. And we were listening to, to Giles Peterson on Six Music in the Afternoon, playing loads of new music. And he was doing um, loads of new records for Record Store Day. You know, obviously loads of artists will make a, a record that just comes out that day, a special limited edition thing. Um, and we it's heard this song. Event. Go support your local record shop. Correct. Well, this song I heard and it really stuck out to me and I really, really loved it so, so much. And I was like, what is it? And I pulled over the car, tried to shazam it, and it was like, oh, you, you can't do it because it's record store day or whatever. I was like, I'll never know what this is now. So I had to stay in the car and listen to him play loads of records. And finally, I found out get what it was end. and get to the end. He oh. played loads of songs. I was like, please tell us what it was. Um, and it's Shaka Khan and Switch has done a remix of this. Oh, amazing. And it is so so great so I'm really happy that we've tracked this down and, and managed to get hold of it and want to play it to you na tonight on Radio 1 because I loved hearing it in the car so if you're driving around this evening hopefully this record will have the same effect as it did on me oh let's do it so stick let's it, do stick this stick it on stick it on this is Shaka Khan new music it's called Sugar and Switch on the remix Ooh. I love this Switch on the remix of Shaka Khan that is called like Sugar. I love that tune. It's so great. I love that. I did not know what to expect, but that was, that was pretty awesome. It's a little bit naughty, that one, isn't it? I really like that. <laughs> and okay, we've not got long left. Uh, we're going to hand you over very soon. Charlie Sloth going to be taking over Radio 1. Um, but we've had a great night tonight. Thank you, everybody, for listening. We're going to be back tomorrow evening and a really exciting show tomorrow night because we're going to be back, me and Dan, tomorrow, 7 p.m. on Radio 1, looking after Annie's show. But there's going to be more because tomorrow night the hottest record comes from you Dan yeah for, well from, from me and the guys who are coming in to say hello which is exciting yeah um, yeah I'm, I'm kind of really nervous about our new song being out in the world but yeah excited uh -huh. I guess it's like Christmas Eve for you or something tonight. It is, yeah, like a musical Christmas Eve. Like a musical Christmas Eve. And we've got we've got Mo to distract me. We've got Florence. Uh -huh. I get to see some of my favourite artists in the world, and uh, and then lower the tone tomorrow with our new song. No, don't say that. <laughs> I've heard it and it's great, and everyone's you, gonna mate. love it. So proper Thank proper you. exciting tomorrow night. And um, also, um, you, your your bandmates must have been listening last night. Did they give you any feedback? Did they say, Dan, you were a runaway success at this radio malarkey? Um, or did I got, they not I got even some listen? Like, Middling to positive reviews from those that listen. Right, what did they say? They're like, yeah, it sounded right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's what I get from my friends and family. They're like, yeah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, Mom, did you hear my big Beyonce interview? She's like, yeah, I didn't actually, darling. I was at Auntie Carmel's. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't want them to be too sycophantic. Can't win them all. You really don't want to. And so you're going to end uh, with, with your song choice tonight. We're going to go for some Ben Khan. Tell us about this record and why you've gone for this tonight. Well, it's the new. It's his new, his new single. Um, and I think it's coming off. I'm assuming it's going to come off a new record. And he's been around for a while. Um, he's you know, quite sort of... He doesn't do any interviews, stays quite quiet. Uh-huh. I think he's incredible. The Youth EP, which was his first one, um, just like blew me away. I've been listening to it loads. Um, and he's had another EP since then. And yeah, I've just been waiting, like a lot of people, for an album. And so it's just, just nice to have a, a, a little insight into what that could be. Well, let's do this. It just sounds like the future. In You know, it sounds like I'm in a sci-fi film and I'm loving it. And uh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> 